So now I have left as glass and teeth. So let's do another poly reduce node. Go ahead and plug that in and we'll make this one visible. And for this one, these were uh, sub D meshes. So we can actually use another poly reduce option here. It's kind of interesting. So with this one selected and visible, let's go up here and we'll say use only original point positions and preserve quads. So now when I start dropping this percentage, it's going to use the point positions we already have and try and keep our quads. Uh, so let's get this as low as possible while still retaining our original shape here. Uh, another thing too is like it did a pretty good side uh, job on this side and this side maybe not so much. So we've already learned how we can kind of fix that. Let's go ahead and hit tab and then type in symmetrize, plug this in. And again, we'll hit zero for the Y axis. Let's hit one for the X axis and then I'll copy this over. If for some reason you like the other side better, you can type a negative one and copy that side over. But in this case, we'll do a positive X symmetrize. And let's do the exact same thing for the teeth. Tab, poly reduce, show that. Use only original points, preserve quads. Let's drop this down as low as we can. Still keep those uh, some of those bevels in there, and that'll be our reduction. Now again, would it be smarter to try and use the continue reducing within quality tolerance? Probably for reusability, but again, I just wanted to show you some more options, and probably this will be fine, but we'll, we'll give it a shot when we pass another uh, variant through here. And at this point, we've uh, got everything game-resed. Uh, next, we're going to talk about getting some UVs on these things.